Hi, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this tutorial, we will talk about the cultivation process of field beans crop. Field beans come in two types, the bushy type and the vine type. The growth of the vine type cannot be determined. Here, we will focus on the cultivation of the bushy type of field beans. Field beans have different names in different languages. The scientific name of field beans is Lab Lab Purpurus and it belongs to the family Fabaceae. Field beans is a multi-purpose crop which is primarily grown for its green pods. It can be consumed as vegetable, pulse or forage. Field beans were usually perennial creeper plants. With modern breeding methods, it has now become an annual shrub. Field beans are warm season annual legumes. Small flowers are produced in clusters at various nodes on the plant. The flowers come in beautiful white and sweet lavender colors. Let us now see the required climatic conditions for the cultivation of field beans crop. Higher temperature and humidity favor the growth and development of the plant. Field beans are a warm season crop and thrive best at temperatures between 60 degrees Fahrenheit to 80 degrees Fahrenheit. High temperature and moisture stress during the flower and pot setting period result in dropping off of large number of blossoms and developing pods. Let us now see the stages involved in the cultivation process of field beans. The stages are land preparation, drip irrigation arrangement, seed sowing, weeding, Pest and disease management, flowering and fruit formation, harvesting and yield. Let us now see how the land is prepared for the cultivation of field beans. Field beans thrive best on fertile sandy loam soils with good internal or tile drainage and moderate organic matter content. Soils with a pH range between 5.8 to 6.5 are best. A soil pH above 7.2 can result in chlorosis problems. Soils that can be temporarily flooded, easily compacted are not suitable for the cultivation of field bean crop as they lead to plant deaths. Being a legume crop, it requires less nitrogen in soil. Farmyard manure up to 6 tons and 20 kg of phosphorus and 10 kg of nitrogen should be applied in 1 hectare at the time of land preparation. Deep ploughing with chisel plow to attain 15 to 20 cm depth and fine tilt and leveling with rotators will incorporate all the nutrition into the soil. So, two to three deep ploughings and one leveling is required. Once land preparation is complete, we need to arrange for drip irrigation to the field. Drip irrigation saves water and fertilizer by allowing water to drip slowly to the roots of plants either onto the soil surface or directly into the root zone through a network of walls, pipes, tubing and emitters. Overhead irrigation wets the plants but produces runoff. In contrast, drip irrigation is a controlled irrigation method. It works by exposing the roots to a direct supply of water. Drip irrigation system releases water in a slow and steady pattern and a controlled amount of water is supplied to plants at regular intervals. We will now see how the seeds are sown in the cultivation process of field beans. Selecting high quality field bean seeds for sowing is very essential. Twenty to twenty five kgs of seeds are required per one hectare. The best time for seed sowing comes with the onset of monsoon, that is, around the month of July. The spacing required between seed to seed is twenty centimeters 
and 60 cm between row to row. Seeds can be sown to a depth of 2 cm to 3 cm into the soil. After sowing the seeds, within 7 to 10 days the seeds germinate and seedlings emerge from the soil. The first true leaf formed after the cotyledons emerge from the soil is unifoliate and all subsequent leaves are compound with three leaflets. In this stage, seedlings grow rapidly by utilizing the nutrition and water from the field. Along with the seedlings, weeds also grow. So, removing the weeds from the field play an important role in the cultivation process of field beans. Let us now see how weeding and intercultural operations take place in the field. Regular weeding should be carried out in the field bean field. Usually about 10 weedings are required. These weeds utilize the nutrition and water sources of field bean crops and also spread pests and diseases. So, removing of weeds plays a major role in the cultivation process of field bean crop. Weeds can be removed between two channels by a tractor and spade, but the weeds which are present between plant to plant can be removed by khurpi and sickle. Spraying weedicides to control the weed population in the field is not suggestible because at times weedicide can be harmful to the crop. Follow the crop till the flowering stage and continuously practice weeding. Let us now understand pest and disease management in the cultivation process of field beans crop. Field beans crop can be attacked by pests such as aphids, thrips, pot borers, ash weevil, white fly and so on. The major diseases that can attack the crop are powdery mildew, rust, anthrocnose, leaf spot and root rot. Spray methyl dimeton or dimethoate to control aphids and thrips. Pot borer can be controlled by spraying carbaryl. Ash weevil can be controlled by spraying spray fosalone and to control white fly place 20 yellow sticky traps coated with castor oil in polythene sheet to attract the white flies. Powdery mildew can be controlled by spraying wettable sulfur in the same way rust can be controlled by dusting sulfur. Anthrocnose can be controlled by spraying chlorothalonil and leaf spot can be controlled by spraying mancozeb. Root rot can be controlled by drenching with carbendazim 1 grams per litre in the root zone. The field bean plants start flowering after 75 days of sowing and these flowers are white in color and very sensitive which means temperatures greater than 30 degrees centigrade can cause flower blasting. Flower blasting means dropping of buds and flowers. All flowers form an inflorescence on the main stem of the plant and heavy winds cause the flowers to drop. So, Timely sowing of seeds in field helps prevent this problem. These flowers turn to pods in 15 to 20 days. These green pods are edible portion and be consumed. 
Once pod formation completes, the crop can be harvested. Let us now see the harvesting stage in the cultivation process of field beans. The field beans are ready for harvesting after 90 days of sowing. At the time of harvesting, be careful about the flowers on the plant because each flower will turn into a green pod. Flower drop problem is a major problem at the time of harvesting. The average yield that can be expected is 100 to 120 quintals of green pods per hectare. This was about harvesting stage in the cultivation process of field beans crop. Thank you for watching our tutorial on the cultivation process of field beans crop. Stay connected with tutorialspoint.com to watch our next tutorials on the cultivation process of different crops. Tutorialspoint.com Simply easy learning.